what's up everyone it's your girl shay here and i'm back with another video for you guys and this time i'm back with another discussion and as you can tell by the title i'm talking about the topic of colorism and i'm using peach girl as pretty much like my example and the main reason why i want to talk about colorism is because it is a topic that is kind of so prevalent in today's society and i know a lot of people probably feel like it's kind of oversaturated or people talk about it all the time but i still feel like it's a topic that at least for me I feel is still greatly like should that like, greatly should be discussed and greatly affects me today so first thing I want to do actually is to pretty much give you guys a definition of what colorism actually is so I have it pulled up and the definition of colorism is discrimination based on skin color also known as colorism or shadism is a form of prejudice or discrimination in which people are treated differently based on the social meanings attached to skin color so a lot of times you see colorism mostly being associated with minorities so like African Americans you see it with Indians I also want to add in Asians as well I don't know if within the Latino community it is prevalent but I'm going to say yes the whole thing around uh, colorism is pretty much that if you are of a darker skin tone you are looked at as being less attractive uh, and there's also other meaning associated with it so it's also associated especially in the african-american community that you are not as pretty as those who are lighter skinned that you're associated as being a lot more loud or ghetto or ratchet or however it is concerned and i decided to use peach girl as like an example or to discuss colorism a lot more because i feel like definitely peach girl shows colorism a lot um, even the ways that this affects an individual whom is darker skinned. So as many of you guys know, Peach Girl is about a girl by the name of Momo and it's a love story. Obviously it's a shoujo anime, but Momo pretty much has a crush on this boy by the name of Toji. There's also another boy in there by the name of Kairi as well, who is like the forms this like crazy love triangle but at the beginning momo is in love with toji and has a huge crush on him but she's afraid that toji would not like her because her skin is quite tan now the reason why her skin is tan is because she swims a lot and due to swimming it has caused her skin to be a lot tanner because she's outside all the time and along with that it also has changed her hair color so the bleach and the chlorine has changed her hair color to like a reddish color and because of that she actually says that people see her as being or thinking that she is quite loud and is an easy girl because of this which is not the case for momo she's still like any other girl but because of the way she looks and her skin tone she has this discrimination put against her now on the other side she has a best friend and i use quotation marks because sai is by no means her best friend is much more paler than she is she's also very small and very tiny and very dainty and a lot of boys tend to go for Sai and a lot of things that Momo has she says she notices that Sai does them as well but for some reason these things look a lot better on Sai from everything from the nail color that she wears the socks that she wears her uniform and all of the above she feels like Sai pulls it off a lot better than she does because Sai's skin is so much paler now I decided to re-watch the first episode in which Momo is explaining a lot of these things and there is one part actually during the first few minutes of the episode that you see her at actually Momo s slathering on sunblock and the reason why is because she knows she's going to be outside and she doesn't want to get any darker and it breaks my heart to actually like was what while I was watching this because I completely felt for Momo and not even for the sense of like she has a friend that is supposed to be your friend but really isn't but more so because of some of the lines that Momo says like Momo says she's not going to confess her feelings for Toji until she is paler and a lot lighter than he is and hearing her say that like totally put me back into when I was a kid or when I was younger so because for me, since I'm darker, obviously, I've actually also have had to deal with these things as well. I've had people say to me, oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl or I've had people, you know, call me names because of me being darker skin tone. And because of that, it gave me a little bit of a like 
a weird thing of where I didn't want to get any darker and I used to play I like to say hopscotch with the sun so basically during the summertime I was trying to stay in the shade as much as possible because I was so afraid of getting darker and a lot of times when you see like on TV you see what people associate darker skinned females with they associate with them being loud and they associate them with being not as pretty or they feel like they aren't as pretty and all of this is not true and for me I had to learn to love the skin I'm in and love my melanin and how dark I am and embrace it and realize that certain colors I wear pop on my skin because they're just there and they're bright and they pop on my dark skin and I've had to learn to love that part of myself and not care what other people have to say and not care if boys don't like me because they feel like oh I don't want a darker skin female well then that's fine I will date somebody else and I have someone that loves me for whom I who I am and loves the skin tone that I have and for me peach girl kind of shows this actually this progression of Momo she ends up falling and finding a guy that loves her for who she is and loves like her tan skin and why she's tan and she actually finds a group of friends that have also embraced this part of themselves and she's showed these stigmatisms and have like waved them off and doesn't care about them anymore and I feel like peach girl is such a great way to explain colorism and to explain how people can be treated differently within a race within a race of people for being darker skin for something that they have obviously no control over so I want to extend the question or extend a question to you guys and that is have you guys ever experienced colorism and have you guys ever actually also watched Peach Girl and do you feel like Peach Girl greatly represents the topic of colorism? I feel like it does because it actually has a character that has tanner skin having to deal with the prejudices of having tanner skin and then also having to come to terms with it and actually embracing the skin that she has and how different she looks from people and not caring what other people have to say about her and just embracing it which is kind of the reason why now as I'm older and realizing this that I love the peach girl anime and I love what it stands for and I want to know what you guys think so comment down below let me know what you guys think once again comment down below on if you've ever experienced any issues with colorism whether it's for being lighter than your race or whether it's being darker than your race or what people feel as far as skin tone is concerned but I want to also let all of you guys know no matter what skin tone you are you're beautiful you have the skin tone that you have because you're meant to have that skin tone and for my melanin brothers and sisters like you are gorgeous let that melanin pop and for those of you who are pale and have lighter skin tone you are meant to have that pale skin tone and you are meant to be lighter skinned and you could, should rock that as well so don't care about what other people say don't try to change who you are love the skin you're in love who you are and who cares what other people have to say so that is my thoughts on this topic of colorism i hope i explain this well enough I really hope I did um, but once again let me know what you guys think of course in the description box below I'm gonna have links to all my social media accounts my Instagram my Twitter and my blog as well so feel free to check me out out on there and of course like always um, give us some thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and of course like I say at the end of every single video you guys stay positive and be nerdy all right you guys I will see you guys with another video soon all right you guys